I am going to paint some orange slices. I posted the photo to my Instagram. And I have a new setup here so I don't have to look lean down over the table because that was hurting my back. So I know you can't see my palette, but I'm going to tell you the colors that I'm using and I'm going to stick to the limited palette. So I'm using um, Cad Red, Medium Hue, Ultramarine Blue. I have Ben's Yellow, which is like Hansa Yellow Medium. And I'm also using White. And that's it. That's going to be my color palette. I'll mix my oranges and purples and grays and everything from these three colors. So I'm going to just start with a quick drawing. I'm going to use orange. So I'm mixing my red and yellow to make an orange color. And I'm just going to loosely follow the reference photo. So I'm just kind of blocking in our shape, making the major shapes, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a block in. I toned my canvas with um, Ben's Yellow Light, nice, cool, bright yellow. And the reason I chose that is because if any of my canvas doesn't get covered or a little pop show through, I thought that would be um, a fun color. I'm going to paint in my shadows first. So I'm going to mix red and purple, sorry, red and blue to make a purple. I'm going to go with a triadic color scheme. So um, looking at my color wheel, I know that orange and green and purple are going to look cute together. So I'm going to use green for the pith. Purple for the shadows, 
and then orange, obviously, for the orange slices. And then my background will be maybe a grayish purple. I'm probably going to desaturate this color a little bit with some yellow because I don't want the shadows to compete with the the vibrancy of the the orange, if that makes sense. So I mixed a little bit of yellow. I think I'm gonna have to go over the shadows again anyway, so I'm just gonna leave this for now. didn't really bring the saturation down as much as I wanted it to, but it's really hard to tell until you have everything, until you have everything kind of blocked in. So that'll be a good start on the shadows anyway. I am going to now mix some orange just with my red and yellow. The oranges are pretty dark in the reference photo. They are the Cara Cara oranges, which are darker, but sometimes photos make things look darker than they really were. And because I took the photo, I know that the orange wasn't that dark. So I'm going a little heavier with the yellow. I'm not putting in any white yet, it's just the Cad Red and Ben's Yellow. And I'm looking at the oranges to see where the darkest spots of the orange are. I think that was too much red. I'm taking more yellow. I'm wetting my brush. And I'm looking for a lighter value orange on each of the segments. Adding in a little bit of white to that mixture. That's a little more yellow. I'm trying to make a few spots with a lighter value. Just kind of glancing at the reference photo.
This one seems darker. And this one as well seems darker. But I want some variation in the segments. So I'm just trying to have a subtle shift in value. This one actually seems like it has some dark segments as well. Putting a little bit of white in, shift the value. your paint isn't really spreading, just wet your brush a little bit. All right, before I put in the green, I'm gonna make a color for the background. Um, I'm gonna use my dirty orange brush. I'm gonna mix it into this purple that I have on my palette. I'm trying to make a muted purple gray. So I'm also going to take some white and I'm wetting my brush, kind of mixing all the colors together with white. It's still leaning a little pink, so I'm gonna add some blue to help desaturate the color. And it's looking purple, so I'm going to add yellow because yellow is the complement of purple and that will help to desaturate it a little bit more. I think I have it grayer now, but it needs white. Still kind of purple. But it should work. I'm mixing in a little more white still. On my palette it looks very light, but when I put it on the canvas it's looking dark.
I'm just going to kind of go around. And do a little cleaning up of edges. But I'm not going to be too careful because I'm sure that I'll end up doing another pass to clean up the edges when I'm closer to the end of the painting. I'm going to leave it like that for right now. I like the little bits of yellow popping through actually. And the orange part should be mostly dry. So what I'm going to do is grab a smaller brush and mix up some yellowy green for this palette. So I'm mixing yellow and blue, and I put in a tiny bit of the orange and a little bit of white. And I'm going to use this color for the pith. fairly noticeable on that side. It's pretty thick to thin and then thick to thin again. And there are some areas of the pith that are a little bit darker because they're in shadow. So I'm going to mix in a little bit more blue and give it a little bit darker of a value. Just in the spots where it seems to be more shaded.
I'm going to put thicker paint in some areas that look too thin to me. I'm going to put in a little bit more yellow and white. I'm going to just start to capture this here in the middle, that whitish part of the pith. But I know I'm probably putting on too much paint, so what I'll do is knock it back a little bit with some red and orange. All right, I'm moving back to a clean brush. This one is a uh, number 12. And I'm gonna start mixing some nice clean orange. In different values, dark and light. And I'm going to go over the darks first and try to give my oranges a little bit more of an organic shape this time. So try to get a little bit of the curvature of the segments. And I'm okay with going into that green a little bit. That was too light. So I'm just trying to get a couple of the little highlights in here. Well, that was too much. 
I'm going to pick up some darker orange and try to knock this back a little bit. And I'll just leave that for right now. I don't want to overwork that one, and I feel like I already am. I try to have some lighter and darker highlights in this one. It does seem a little lighter up near the top. And what I didn't do is knock this back a little bit. Make it a little more organic shaped. I think I'll have this one be lighter than the others, just for some variety. But this side is definitely a little bit more in shadow. And even right up here, it's even a little bit more red. And play up the red in this one too. A little bit more red.
just going to fix this one because it's way off. The drawing is way off. Okay. I'm going to touch up the green in some of the areas where it needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm going back to that smaller brush that I was using. I think that's fine. I want to work on my shadows. I want to um, push them back a little bit. They are, I think, competing. Color is competing too much with the um, center of the oranges. So I'm going to grab one of my dirty brushes out of the water. And I want to mix more of a muted purple. I do like the red purple. So I'm going heavy on the red, a little bit of blue. A little bit of yellow to knock the color back. So I don't want the saturation to be super high. And then I'll add in a little bit of white to lighten the value a little bit. Kind of 
gonna put this a little bit on the outer part of the shadows. I like my shadows to be more of a gradient. So they should be darkest closest to the object. That's where you have the most shading. I think that's a little better. Put in a little bit more yellow because I like a lot of color variations in the shadows. I need some more white. I've almost got it to like a peachy color now. But I think it works. your paint isn't flowing, just make sure you wet your brush a little bit. You don't want to overdo it with the water because your paint will break down on you and you'll see it separate on the canvas. I think I'm pretty happy with my shadows. I'm going to go around the background one more time and just kind of clean everything up and then I'll take a final look and see if there are any areas that I want to touch up. So I'm mixing a whole lot of white into my palette here. On top of the purple but I added a little bit of blue I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more blue. You just want to add, if you want to make a grayish color, you just want to mix your primary colors, all three, in various proportions until you get the shade that you want. Like if you want a blue gray, add more blue. You want a purpley gray, you want to add red and blue. If your neutral is too saturated, you want to figure out what's the main color and add its complement. So if you have a purple that's too vibrant, add a little bit of yellow and knock down the saturation. The shadow got too big, so I just made it a little bit smaller. And this one is also a little bit too big. all my shadows were too big. So I'm going to take my background color and just kind of reshape them a little closer to what they look like in the reference photo. Shadows are a little smaller. 
than the oranges, but I kind of went and made them the same size. I'm just kind of softening the edges of some of the shadows by putting um, a very light brush stroke. I'm tempted to just touch up the orange a little bit. especially in the areas where I made the green a little bit too big. I'm just going to put down a little bit of dark orange and kind of push it back. I don't really want them all smooth because that's not natural. All right, I feel like I'm gonna just make things worse. So I'm gonna stop. If you're looking for my reference photo, um, check out my Instagram page on the post with the finished painting of um, these orange segments. If you swipe, you'll see the reference photo. And um, if you paint this and you post it to Instagram, use the hashtag paint with L so that I can find your painting and share your work in my Instagram stories. See, it's never good when you touch up at the end.
All right, I'm gonna stop fussing. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.